Well, you've seen them pop up all over Los Angeles, tiny home communities to shelter the homeless. But how well are these communities working and what does it mean for the future of the homeless crisis? Tonight, KTLA obtained some new documents that we found eye opening. Lauren Lister reports. Right here, number three. All right, let's see your pad. For people living on L.A. streets, relief may start small with a 64 square foot tiny home at a village like this one in North Hollywood. How long have you been living here? A little over a year. San Fernando Valley native Richard Clark says he became homeless after an injury prevented him from working. This shed with a bed and some basics has gotten him off the public benches where he'd been sleeping with meals and showers on hand. Services are here, you just have to take advantage of it. The staff are helping him apply for disability benefits and hopefully get a permanent place to live. LA now has 11 tiny home villages. The first opened early 2021 on Chandler Boulevard in North Hollywood. But as cabin communities have expanded, so have something else. Calls for help within their walls. KTLA obtained police, fire and paramedic records for all the tiny home communities in LA. They paint a picture of the care still needed by the unhoused when they're taken off the streets. Calls for suspected assault, threats, weapons and more. Records obtained by KTLA show from January to mid-September, more than 170 calls for police, fire or paramedics at one tiny home village in North Hollywood's Alexandria Park, home to about 150. And just last month, one resident was found shot outside. He survived. And that's not all. From January through mid-September, records reveal more than 160 police, fire or paramedic calls at the Whitset West Village we toured at Satakoy in the 170 freeway. <laughs> and dozens of emergency calls at several other L.A. tiny home communities. This is a crisis response. We brought the findings to Rowan Van Sleeve, president of Hope the Mission, a nonprofit that runs the North Hollywood tiny home communities and three others in L.A. By no means am I surprised. I think first and foremost, it's a lot less than the number of calls going to active encampments with the same number of people. But anytime you put well over 100 people on one site who are in crisis, there is going to be an element of law enforcement needed. LAPD records show about 20% of the calls for service to two of the three tiny home villages in North Hollywood, including this one, are for possible suicide attempts or suspected overdoses. The service provider says it speaks to the need for more behavioral health services. Many of our guests who are living on this site, they've been on the streets for three, four, five years. The amount of trauma that somebody has endured and the depths of the mental health issues, the addiction issues, are unprecedented. While their tiny homes receive services from the County Department of Mental Health, Van Sleeve calls for more mental health staff on site seven days a week to deal with needs right away. This North Hollywood tiny home resident agrees. The, the staff is not equipped to handle the different types of situations going on in here. He's also witnessed emergencies firsthand. My roommate that I first was in there with overdose. Uh, she had to go to the hospital. Neighbors of cabin communities we spoke to were generally favorable. I've actually seen like positives with it because I don't really see a lot of homeless encampments around and uh, you know it's good that people have a place to go. But attorney Shayla Myers who represents unhoused Angelinos says tiny homes are meant to be temporary shelter and too often are not. Because there is so little affordable housing in Los Angeles, people are, are being forced to stay there for a very long time. But Van Sleeve says on average they're moving 11 to 14 people a month from the NoHo cabin communities into permanent homes, saying they're better than the alternative of living on the streets. They are incredibly successful, but also very imperfect. In North Hollywood, I'm Lauren Lister. Yeah, just take the initiative. KTLA 5 News. That's it.